TR3CA. This is the, the original team members, and then these are all the support groups and the team members of those support groups that stem from, from that. Um, so, yeah, our customer values, our customer obviously values consistency on target parts, and we saw a gap represented here in our customer KPI that we were sending defective parts to our customer. So our problem statement is Sonoma sent 548 defective parts to Smith in June 2011, and the standard's obviously zero. Um, our goal statement was to reduce the defects sent to Smith by 75%, and we want to do that by January 2012. So first of all, we needed to understand the current state, and we had to ask ourselves, was the current standard being followed, was it yielding the, the desired result? Some of the things we saw was the inspection was the longest process and was always behind. Um, the operators passed on defects from, from their process and to allow the inspector at the end to pass or fail. Um, the inspector was expected to find all the defects and dimensional tolerances. We had poor lighting, dirty, dirty tooling, um, we had high machine, product type, and process variation. And uh, so in, in March, we doubled the inspection time, we added a second inspector represented here, and as you see, our, we were still getting customer returns. And then in April, we implemented the Kions, or our chip detection system. And as you can see here, we're still getting returns and, and turned it up. So we had to go back and understand um, what the defects were, um, where they're being caused, and um, how they're being passed on. And, and so this is kind of the understanding that. Um, then we had our process, we had the process engineers reevaluate what our process capability of uh, detecting those, what our, what our machines, uh, our capability of the machines, and our, our detection methods. And so our system improvement that we decided to do was we decided to uh, decide where do the defects first occur, what is our best method for detecting those defects? So we had to break it down to each one of our, our machines, our process, and we, we listed the rejects that can be caused there and the best methods that we have of catching them. And, and then our, our way of implementing that is we held the Kaizen Fair in October, the end of October. And what we did is we based essentially here at the beginning, our, um, we were catching everything at the end of the process. We were catching all of our defects at the end of the process after they've been ran through everything, and we were just expecting someone to catch all of our defects. And, and here we implemented inspection points throughout the process, so you're actually detecting your own rejects, so you know when you're, when you're creating rejects. So some of the system improvements and the improvements of culture, um, we enable stop and fix, and so the defects are found at the first point of the detection. We eliminated hidden waste, overproduction, so we're not adding any value to parts that are defective. We're not, we're not continuing to process them and um, add value to them. And then the yogi tank control charts and both the ecology of synthetic with the high diameter and chamfer, so that to explain that a little bit, what it is is that before you can final clock out a tray, it has to have gone through the control charts of, of finished height, finished diameter, and the chamfer size. Um, and the operator is no longer responsible for catching all the defects at the end of the process. And then um, to highlight some of the culture change, now now the operator it improves standard work. You can see the immediate result from his process and the value of strict adherence to standards or or the need for kaizen. Um, and then our results, um, as you can see here, dramatically increased. And by January, we had decreased that by 96% where we were at in um, June. And uh, as of right now, this was just updated today or yesterday. Uh, we have found, we've had two parts returned from this month. Out of? In March. I know, but out of how many parts? 27,000 parts. Hmm. So it's about a defect rate of 64 parts per month. 